everybody it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery hope you're all doing well today um, today I have a 12 by 12 gallery wrap canvas and I'm going to do another dirty cup flip and drag using the bloom technique um, I did one the other day and I just had such fun with it that um, I thought I'd give it another try so let's go over my paints um i am not going to put down a base coat or a pillow or a, a pillow puddle at all i'm just going to be uh dumping the dirty cup right right on the canvas here today but my paint colors i'm using are um the arteza iridescent paints that i just got recently the first one is glowing peach the next one is Dreamy Lemon Yellow. And the next one is Shocking Lime Green. They came up with some real inventive uh, names for these paints. And the last one is Electric Plum Purple. Very pretty color. Very, They're all very shimmery. So those are my paint colors. Now, the pouring medium is one part polycrylic, Minwax polycrylic, two parts of the Pittsburgh Ultra Semi-Gloss Enamel Neutral Base, Neutral Base, excuse me. And I, I did about, a, I would say about an ounce and a half of the pouring medium to just a little squirt of the paint. Because this paint, um, it's pretty concentrated and uh, has a nice hue to it. Now, the topper. Uh, today I'm going to use um, Amsterdam Titanium White as a topper. And also I'm going to try using Amsterdam Prussian Blue. Now each of those were mixed with one part paint to three parts Floetrol. And I also added three drops in each color of the Minwax uh, wood conditioner. So that's, that's that for all my ingredients here today. So I'm just going to do a dirty cup flip cup. So I'll start layering my cup here. And so this is a topper, the white topper. And now I'll add my colors. I think I'll try and get two layers of each color here. And I am going to add the blue topper now, a layer of that. And then keep adding my colors. Now I'm just going to repeat that again, starting with the white topper. And I hope those of you that are homebound are finding things to enjoy while you are home. Okay. 
and some of you may be watching these these art videos it's a good time to catch up on them oh we have a lot a lot of really good artists to watch a lot of artists do this bloom technique Okay, I'm going to put another layer of the blue cell activator here or topper whichever way you want to say it and now I will finish up with my paints here And I will give a last layer of this white cell activator or topper here. Going to finish that white off here. So I am going to do the flip and drag on this. I'm just going to let it sit there a minute. Okay. Put some paint in my corners here just to help the paint move and I think I will just lip it a little bit in here okay Just gonna let it sit there a minute see what kind of cells come up looks very pretty so far a lot a lot of cells coming up a lot of pretty lacing I think I'm just going to do a little bit more of the lipping through this blue here very lightly just to break that up a little bit that's better and maybe just a little bit through here okay a lot a lot going on here Hope you can see this pretty lacing in here and in here, starting in here too. The only thing that doesn't look real active at this minute is that um, Amsterdam blue, the Prussian blue. We'll just see it, what that does here. And I'm going to start tipping now. trying to be very mindful of what is going on on this painting and trying to save the parts that I really like. I 
There's a lot of paint on here that I will have to tip off. Just taking a look at it here now. I think I am going to take off that yellow in that pink there. And I'm going to try and take some of that blue off just to thin my paints there and bring it back. And take another look here. I'm just going to try and tip it over this corner here very carefully. I really like that lacing and I don't want to lose any more of it than I have to. And bring it back. Take another look. It's looking beautiful. Let's see if I can cover a couple of my corners here. <clears throat> it does look like abalone shells in parts of it. Okay, I'm going to try and tip down this way. Bring it back. And tip it down a little bit now. Taking another look here at it. See if I can cover some of my edges just by finger popping them here. In the corner. I may have to go over that corner again, tip it a little bit on that corner. Okay, I'm going to tip it a little more this corner just to get a little more of that pink off there just a little bit I think I like it a little better if it's just off a little bit and I'm gonna bring it back bring it down a little bit here take another look I'm just going to tip it down just a little bit here, down and over. And I need to get that corner over there just a little bit, just to get that paint over. Okay, I'll bring it back. I'm 
and stretching out some of the lacing here. And I'm going to take another look. I do have an air bubble to pop here. Pretty happy with this. Be, it's, be, it's got a beautiful, beautiful shine to it that you will see a lot better when I get you down for a close up. And I think that I would have this as the top, but I'm not. I'm not ex absolutely sure here yet. Let me turn it this way. That's a very nice way to composition wise. I'm just not sure. We'll have to wait till it dries, but I am really, really liking this. It's beautiful. And I will get you down for a close up. You can tell me what you think. Again, this is a 12 by 12 gallery wrapped canvas. This is the, the bloom technique, but done as a dirty cup pour. So here is the upper left hand corner that has the beautiful lacing on it right there. And you can see that dark blue in there that I used as a topper here and there. There it is in there. More lacing in here. This seems to be where that pink, the pink and the peach came out right in here. And I'll take you up the middle. Hopefully you can see some of that shimmer right in there. You can see it at the top here. Very pretty. And here is some of the dark blue did come through as lacing in this area, that Prussian blue. Very pretty in there. And this is the upper right hand corner here. And this is one of the areas I really like is the, the blue with the white lacing in it. So very pretty. Very shimmery in here. And this is the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it, please. Uh, ring the bell, choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't. And until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.